Hi, this is Susie from the Five Waiting Wombs, and today we're discussing what treasures you have for your baby and the pros and cons of buying things for baby before being pregnant. So um, to start this topic, we have quite a few things for baby, and a lot of the things we have are in storage boxes. So rather than going through and digging out everything and opening boxes, I decided to just kind of show you some things that we most recently have purchased, and I'll link pictures in the sidebar if you want to see the items that we have already purchased. Um, we've been trying to conceive for two years, and my mother has wanted a grandchild for probably four years. So ever since I think we got engaged, she started buying things for baby. Um, we've bought a couple things for baby. Most of what we have is from my mom. So um, let me just start with the most recent things that we have because those were still in bags and not like put away in a box. Um, we don't buy as much as we used to because we, are, we have way too much stuff. Um, but you know, if I see something that's a good deal, it's kind of like I still, I have hope that we'll have a baby. and. I don't know. Sometimes we'll still buy stuff, but not nearly as often as we used. Cute little, like, um, Christmassy little outfit. Um, we also found, like, which brands we really like, you know, just looking at stuff. And, like, little embroidery on it. So, I guess that's, that's one thing. Um, and as far as sizes, like, if we buy baby things, we try and buy, like, bigger things. We have a lot of little things, and they're only little for so long. Um, this was a set of three onesies. And um, this one was had a really pretty print on it. But there were three onesies, and it was only $7, so it was really a good price. And then this I got when I was buying a present for my niece, and I just couldn't pass this up. It's Laura Ashley. It was, like, the cutest thing. Um, it's a little dress. I don't know if you can, yeah, see the little sleeves. And then it also comes with little bloomers, so I thought that was, like, the cutest thing. We're going to have very um, well-dressed children when we do have children because this is only, literally like this is like four out of like 400 outfits that we already have. Um, it just depends on the day. Some days it's been a boy day, some days it's been a girl day. Um, so yeah, obviously we have a lot of clothes and I'll kind of show you video of how we have things stored and like um, put that in there in this video as well. So um, the first things that we bought for baby, I guess were probably clothes. Um, then we did buy, um, yeah, I think the crib was like the next thing we bought after we bought a bunch of baby clothes. Then my mom, we saw a crib. It was the floor model, and it was a good price, and it was a really nice dark wood, and it also converts to a toddler bed, like a twin bed. So um, you have to buy the side pieces, but it was kind of uh, one of those things, and we just, I don't know, we, my mom got it, so we have a crib but we don't have a mattress yet. Um, probably the next thing after the crib came, um, like the boppy pillow and things like that. And then when I was pregnant, my husband bought, um, bought some things for baby, like a stuffed animal um, from Where the Wild Things Are and little Converse tennis shoes and... Um, a couple outfits from Baby Gap and like a jacket, I like boy things, <laughs> and um, yeah, and then um, maybe it was before that, but I then my mom bought um, the stroller, that was probably the second big item that she purchased, and I'll post the link in the sidebar which stroller we have, it's really nice, but unfortunately it's sit just sitting in a box, so it makes me sad that it's not being used. Um, and then eventually we bought the um, car seat. I think I was pregnant. Yeah, I was pregnant when we bought the car seat. And we bought an extra base for it. So, you know, at the time we bought it, it was like the top of the line, like best rated, most safety, good car seat. That's one thing I kind of regret buying because... As the years go along, like, they're improving safety measures and different things, and I kind of wish that that was something we bought later, because by the time we are pregnant having a baby, there might be a better model that's more, has more safety features. Um, but I love the colors. It's like a crystal blue and, like, a gray 
like dark gray and light gray color. It's really pretty. Um, and our stroller is black and like a kind of camel color. So, um, yeah, everything that my mom bought us, like, she was really good about going on, like, Consumer Reports and reading different reviews online and, like, trying to find which had the best safety features and which was the best value and just, yeah. And, um, I'm her only child, so, um, no pressure or anything, but she's, uh, counting on me to give the grand grandkids. Um... So, yeah, I guess I'll cut to that clip, and you can see how we have things stored. Um, but before I do, the pros and cons of having things already for baby. I mean, obviously, there's the great pro that, like, we're so fortunate that my mom is so excited. And we're fortunate because we have so many baby things for boys, for girls, all different ages, um, things that we're going to need, like stroller and um, that kind of stuff. So I feel really glad that we have that stuff because it's expensive and although I know you register for that stuff, I'm sure that you don't get everything and it seems like oftentimes you get clothes at um, baby showers and things and people from what I've heard don't always buy you what's on your registry so it is kind of nice to already have that some of that stuff out of the way and not have to spend money on it later. Definitely the con of buying things so early is that it sits and it's a constant reminder and in a way it's a little bit painful to see those things sitting there and to know that they've been sitting there for two years and they're not being used and we still aren't pregnant and wondering if and when we'll ever use them. So that would definitely be a con. And also the safety feature I mentioned that maybe there might be a newer or better model or something new that comes out by the time we are pregnant that um, I might want to have. So um, I've never had the heart to want to sell anything or get rid of anything because that would be giving up the hope, too, that, like, we are going to use those things. And I have faith that, that we will. So definitely mo more pros than cons. It's good to have. I'm, I love everything we have. I, I just can't wait to use it. I want it out of the box. I want our baby in the stroller and in the crib. So, um, yeah, I'll cut to the clips. You can see where we keep all our stuff all stacked up, just waiting to be used. Okay, so these are the boxes that we've used for storage. Uh, we used to have our baby clothes in moving boxes, and recently I got these blue tubs. So we've got two of these big tubs. I don't think you can really see how wide they are, um, but they hold quite a lot. Um, two of them are full with baby boy clothes, two of them are full of baby girl clothes, and two of them are full of books, a boppy pillow, um, a baby born baby carrier, uh, a car seat, um, cover, like snuggy thing to put inside of a car seat when the baby's really little, some stuffed animals, um, a pair of Converse baby tennis shoes. So yeah, you can see I'll kind of move it up. Um, that is our, that destroyed box that's falling apart. <laughs> and it was actually like that when we picked it up. That was our um, car seat that we ordered. And I'll link a picture of it in the sidebar so you can see it. This right here and this back in here. This is our, um, our baby crib. So our crib is up against the wall. We have all the pieces. It's not put together. We bought the display so it didn't come in a box. So I was really careful when we moved to not let anything happen. And then we still have some hope of using it and it's not hopefully not going to be in these boxes forever. So um, put your comments below where if you want to do a video response, do you have things for your baby? Have you already started buying things? And um, do you think that that's a good idea or a bad idea? Pros and cons. So we'd love to hear your opinion.